Someone said to me the other day, you fake what you do. There's no way you get bargains in charity shops. Really? I've just popped into the Chazza and, well, I'll just show you when I get home, actually, I think. Gonzo has gone. I'm not going to be accepting silly offers. I've done some research on this. If I don't show you, nobody's going to believe me. Right, let's do some sales. Do some sales. Show you some sales. I'm going to do this over a couple of days. Today is Tuesday. Ashley saw this on one of my recent videos. I picked this up from the car boot sale for, I think it owes me like 33.3333 recurring pence. He's paid £5 all in into my bank account. No PayPal fees. Going to be some postage on top. Tax at the end of the year. A couple of quid profit, I suppose. Thank you, Ashley. Massively appreciate that, my man. Oh, what? You think you can beat me, do you, Taylor? Think you can beat me, do you? So I recently found out that this is not actually somebody mugging off Taylor Swift. That's the only reason why I bought it. And I'm so glad I didn't wear it to the car boot sale. No, actually, I probably, I wouldn't have cared if I was. But for the sake of her winning, I would have cared. So I put this up and everyone was going, oh, secret Swifty, are you? And I was going, fuck off. The girl's an absolute fucking cucumber. And uh, I was let into a little secret that this is actually... Taylor Swift wears this, she produced this, she made this. It's her way of turning haters into a secret fan. And she got me. I'm not, I'm not a hater. I just don't follow or give a shit about music. She got me. So if you type in who Taylor Swift anyway, on Google, you'll see what I mean. She got me, fair play, she got me. But not for long, Saf's picked this one up. Saf, you absolute beauty. Saf's bought this for 10 pounds all in. I think, what did I pay for it? Two quid, three quid? Can't remember, but it's gone. You Swifty! <laughs> she got me. She got me. She got me. Fair and square. Oh, that's gone already. Which is great, but where is it? Oh, there it is. Yoshi has sold to Sean. I paid 50 pence for this from the car boot sale, and I think I said on the video that I'll get about four or five quid for this on Vinted, and that's exactly what I've done. Sean has picked this up. Thank you ever so much, mate. I think it was like £4.21 or something. £4.26. I like to do weird numbers. Somebody actually messaged me the other day and said, I want to ask you a question like why do you do that Like, why do you do those weird numbers and i said to him so it was lee lee messaged me and said i'm a subscriber and a reseller of clothes on here i just wondered if there's a reason for the odd prices you put on here i.e 25 pound and 12 pence i always want to learn lol keep up the good work mate so my response was hello mate i just like messing with heads if i'm honest i get a lot of questions about it and now i just find it funny so when I was doing it before, numbers like 4 99 and 4 The difference between £4.99 and £5 in a sale can make a massive, massive difference. It's all psychological. £4.99 is nowhere near five whole pounds on the quick snap reaction of a purchase. It's not. It's all proven. So £4.99, but there's also a difference between £4.99 and £4.95. £4.99, believe it or not, seems way more enticing than £4.95. Obviously, if you put them both together, you're going to choose the £4.95. But if you scroll it, there's, there's hidden psychology behind it all. So I wanted to go one further and do like, instead of doing it at £4.99, I'll do like £4.72. Do you know what I mean? It's nowhere near either. And it looks like it's been reduced and it's been hammered around and just thrown up willy-nilly. That was my thought process behind it to begin with. Then I've, he, uh, Lee's not the only person who's messaged me and asked me that question. So now I just find it funny. It messes with people's heads. People who are resellers anyway, they're like, why are you doing that? So now I just do it for my pure enjoyment and entertainment, plus the psychology side. If you want to kill 10, 15 minutes, go on to Google or DuckDuckGo, whatever your preferred search engine is, and just type in psychology of pricing. You'll have way over time. One thing you never want to do when selling personally is round numbers, unless you're selling at the car boot sale or marketplace. I sold fast. Can anybody remember what I paid? It definitely wouldn't have been more than four pound, and I'm hoping it was around two. But they sold for, how much did they sell for? I think it was 10 pound. Yeah, 10 pound on Vinted. Not bad, eh? Only bought them at the weekend. And my God, this hung around for ages. This is that Nike dress that I picked up. I'll try and put a screenshot up. It's like a teenager's dress by Nike, purple tie-dye. I paid three quid for that, sold it for three pounds fifty on Vinted. It just stuck around for ages and 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 ages. I didn't realise it was a teenager when I bought it though. So you have to give me some credit. 
move over to eBay in a second. Just realized I've been massively waffling for a video that I'm gonna slip into multiple videos. Logitech Pointer finally gets to go out today. Today is Tuesday, so we get to send it off. I'll tell you what it sold again for, because why not? 21 99 or something, something like that. Caesar's hat from that massive hat bundle that I picked up. Still got loads to list. So for £20 all in, it's going to... Where's it going? It's going abroad somewhere. Abroad. Italy. It's actually a business name on that, so I'm going to research that and see if you're a massive poker fan. Oh. They just sell smartphones and stuff. That has sold. Lego Marvel Avengers. Promotional copy. Promotional copy. I sold for eleven pounds and fifteen pence. Harry Hall horse riding helmet. I sold for fourteen pounds and twenty four pence. Annoyingly, I've still got the kangaroo to ship. Bless you, Angela. I think I um, I thought I had a box for that, but I didn't. So I've got one now. So I've got the label printed. I will be, I will be sending it out today. And last but not least, bought on Sunday, listed on Monday, sold on Monday. Bailey Stanley plane. Quite cheap to be fair, I sold it for £18 and four pence all in. Be about four or five quid to post that. Actually, I might see if I can Royal Mail that. I've been doing Royal Mail recently on some stuff. I'm just getting used to it. And that's the sales for Tuesday. Do a clip on that, otherwise, if I don't show you, nobody's going to believe me. Eight pounds of the Chazza. Need to check it out though, but. Might be alright. Jesus wept. What the f just happened? Bro, what just happened? Now you know I can't just sit here and not check it out. I need to check it out. Does that turn that way? Oh, what a result. Well, hey, we can record in the car. By the way, I bought this yesterday. A little Parker Pen 25. There's only one in there, but there's a certificate underneath there. I think even as it is, it's probably like 12 to 15 quid. £1.50. Little toy each, one for Ada, one for George. Yes, they are eight years difference, but no, they still argue over stuff. And I promise you, somebody else yesterday actually said, fake video. No charity shops have bargains I anymore. And it's true, prices have gone up, but every now and then you get lucky. To, what's the time now? Probably half one, half one. I've done my postage, done a video. I've gone in there and this is in there. And it feels really good. It looks really good. Tags are all perfect, but I need to check obviously the inside here. I can see the feathers poking out. Goose down. Okay. Yeah, it's absolutely sound. I think it's fall 2007 by the look of that. So it's an older one, but not that old. Absolutely smashing. But the thing is, I've been after one of them for ages. So it's a medium, so it probably ain't gonna fit. But we'll try it on when I get home anyway. Eight quid. It's a 700 as well. It's in remarkable condition. But what is it, eight quid? It's got to be an hole in it or something. Or oh, it's cursed or it's got a spirit dementing it. I think it's literally just a North Face 700 GLA for eight quid. <laughs> Fantastic. Hopefully it fits. Well, I'm going to Greg's. Annoyingly, I think it's just that little bit too small for me just here. So if anybody has, while I've got this, if anybody has a large that they want to do a trade on, this is in immaculate condition, you've got however long it takes for me to sell it. Damn, so annoyed. But how was that? Eight quid. What? I've just noticed as well, I bet they all are. Everyone's going to go, they're all like that. If they are, I didn't know. It's got stowaway as well. You can pack it all down into this little... Oh. Why is it a medium? Oh look, magic, it's the next day. It's actually Wednesday now. So we're gonna show you some Wednesday sales, shall we? Before I crack on, I've got a lot of people asking me about this book. Almost every single page is a map. Okay, it has something on it. I've done a lot of research into it. And I know there's people out there that like to sell off the pages individually. There must be, I don't know, 300 pages in there. They're all maps. I think the only thing that hasn't got a map on it is the index. So I still need to do some proper research on it. If you know something I don't, speak up and then you might get a decent price on it. Right, so we've had some sales. First of all, we're gonna start off on Vinted, just to move those along. We have a sale from Dom. This was listed for £1.50. Dom hasn't even seen this video yet that I'm about to talk about. But he sent me an offer of five pounds to say thank you. 
I counter offered at two pound and said, I really appreciate the offer, but come on, I'm, I'm happy to be serving you guys. And he accepted. He actually found his PSP, so he's going to power that up and give some games a bash. Dom and your partner massively appreciate this from the pair of you. You said they both watched the videos and you both love it and die laughing at one of the sword scenes recently. Be on its way to you shortly. Thank you very much, mate. This was, I don't know, 50p, something like that, if that. Started selling through that big clothing bundle that I picked up. We have sold the Rab Top Out hoodie on Vinted for £24. Remember, it owes me £107 for the whole deal. And from the same bundle, we have sold a Steve McQueen t-shirt for £11.79. Could have got a bit more on eBay, but it sells faster and less hassle on Vinted. So what's that? 24, 25, 26, 27-ish, 27-ish pound, 80 pound to go. Easily gonna make money on that bundle. Over onto eBay, we have sold two Scalectrix cars, both pretty battered. We've got a Braham and a Carrera Evolution. I'll put a screenshot up. I will try, yeah, please put a screenshot up because you need to see them really. They're battered and untested. Sold for 27 pounds 89 still. The Braham, I think it's called a Braham. Pretty sure it is. Pretty sure it is. Uh, if it's in good condition, sells for about 50 quid. So he's got two there. I've had this for absolutely ages now. Transformers Rescue, but I think it's by Play School. Yeah, Play School one. Paid pennies for it. Sold for £10.80. Jurassic World Dino Rival sold for £19.99. Had a bit of an issue the other day. So I sold one dinosaur, grabbed it from the box for like 18 quid, I think it was. I'll put some screenshots up. Grabbed it from the box. Wrapped it all up, sent it away, got a message two, three days later, quick quick delivery by the way, saying, we've got the wrong dinosaur. I was like, shit, I've picked the wrong one. I was like, keep that, and I've sent them the other one as well, free of charge, so think of it as a gift, so that should be there today or tomorrow as well. We all make mistakes. I could say to him, please return it and I'll switch it over, but by the time I paid another £3.49 or £69, whatever eBay's return postage is, to get it back and then resell it again, I'm going to make two or three quid, I can't bother, just keep it for the sake of two quid, it's yours. But anyway, this one is sold for £19.99. That makes up for it. I paid £5 for five of them. Oh, just had an offer come through on something. Can you see that there? Let's have a look and see what it is. Commodore Sound Expander. I've got it listed for £99.99. That one to pay £60 from Poland. No. Mm. Well, the counter offer at £75. If you have a pay it or you don't, boy. Do, 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 do. Well, I've just had to message Steve and ask for it, so this might be a screenshot job, but Steve has picked up something else from me. Again, he's got one of the coolest eBay shops. By the time this video goes up, he would have told me it again. It's up here. Go and check him out. He has, like, cool clothing, vintage clothing, all sorts of different pieces, toys, games, the lot. I've watched a few items myself recently. Missed out, though, because I'm never available to do the bidding. Should bid and then just... Never mind. Steve has picked up the IKEA Frack Mirror that I paid... Two fifty four, I think. Not too sure. Twelve pounds, all in. Free postage on its way. Notifications on its way shortly. Steve, you're a good legend, mate. Really appreciate it. Whoa. Inception. And for five pounds thirty nine, this has sold to Mark. He is also a viewer of the channel, and he said he's got a new channel out. And I think it's where there's brush, there's Mark. No, that doesn't sound right. Where there's muck, there's brass. So on YouTube, if you fancy a new channel to go and watch, where there's muck, there's brass. I'll be checking them out myself as well very shortly. Mark, really appreciate you. Your brass is on its way to you shortly. Good luck with the channel, my man. And for £69.32, off to somewhere via the GSP. I can actually find out. US, so United States of America. Gonzo has gone. So... Gonzo is Gonzo. This was for sale. I agreed a price on £2. When I went to pay, it had gone up to £3. I wasn't going to whinge about it. I saw somebody rootling through my bags on the floor. I thought I'd picked it up for £4 by this point. I can't remember the prices. I said, That's, I said that cost me £4. It's going to cost you £6. So as mentioned by one of the lovely comments, during the car boot sale, we heard Gonzo go for 2 3 4 and 6 It's now gone for £69, 70-odd pence. Off to the United States. What a cool pickup. Told you they were selling quite consistently for that. Beautiful. 
And regarding sales, that is going to be it. I have got a lot in here, look. I'm basically waiting for a rainy day. I'm not going to panic about anything regarding space-wise that I've put onto myself at the moment. Because it's going to be rainy days soon. Make, making the most of these car boot sales. When there's a rainy day, I'll smash most of this. But look, I'm getting... The fucking leaves keep blowing in. It's getting overrun in here with stuff that isn't listed yet. But I'm still listing a shed ton. But I wanted to just quickly show you this map book. I'm not going to waste too much of your time. But if you look, almost every single page you look on, there is some kind of map. Whether it's globe, whether it's flat. You know, people basically pull these out and sell them individually which is a shame but also decent so what's the last page number if all pages are here one of the last page numbers i can see here i mean the index goes up to like whatever 149 150 there or maybe there's only 150 pages but still quite a lot of pages isn't there So yeah, I had a lot, a lot, a lot of interest in this when I first put it up. So if somebody genuinely wants to make me a decent offer on it, my Instagram is down below and so are my emails. But bear in mind, I'm not going to be accepting silly offers. I've done some research on this. I've got an idea of what it's worth, but it could be worth something to somebody who's going to split it out and those kinds of things regardless. Jumping in with an update because I know I'm filming currently over a couple of days. The North Face jacket has just sold on Vinted 4. £85. Paid £8 yesterday. I could not believe it was there. I just walked in at like half past one, quarter to two. Saw it and was like, it's got to be fake. It's real. It's real. £8 paid. £85 the very next day. I'm vinted. Fee free. Obviously, I've got to pay tax. You have to bear that in mind always. What a lovely flip. Sorry to Instagram people. You missed out. Too slow. Oh, and also, I've just cleaned the workspace doesn't mean anything to you it means a lot to me much better how much better is that hey Ooh, i can swing my legs you're a hairy beast ricky shut up i'll slip this into the video somewhere as well just popped into the chazza and well i'll just show you when i get home actually i think beautiful well no i'm not gonna make the same mistake this time hello how are you? Yeah, all right. Have you got any more figures before I leave? Figures? Like you put some little kids' toys out. Oh, what, the little, um, no. Stuff like that, is that I, it? No, I haven't got a... No, that's all fine. All I've got now is in that fucking mat. I just wanted to, I thought I had to check first. Because right. I, yeah, I don't want, I don't want kilt gate all over again. Oh. I am indeed. Good. That goes with... Something. Here it is. That belongs in that bag. Okay, then. That belongs in this. Presumably. Someone said to me the other day, you fake what you do. There's no way you get bargains in charity shops. Really? You, 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 you're, really? All set, you're all set up with the managers. You've got it all planned out. I said, really? How cheeky. Uh, How absolutely cheeky as well. Um, £5.75. Oh, your videos are fake, mate. You're a liar. You set it all up. It's staged. Yeah, fair play. I don't, I don't blame you for thinking that, if I'm honest. So before we dive in, before I open the packets, £1.50 for this little bag. 75 pence for this bag here. I did open it in the shop to check the date. That pound is from here. I'm not going to put it back on. But a pound, I think it's from Barney. Purple Barney Play School. Pound for that. Pound for this one. I think this is from 2004. I thought it was definitely worth a little, a little pickup. 150 for that. It's going to go in Emma's uh, Christmas hamper. Not hamper, but you know, I'll give it to her at Christmas. Four pound for these now. I don't mind paying that for these. These are squat wolf. Size medium, so they might fit me. If not, I'll sell them on for like... 12 18 quid squat wall for a good brand of workout especially if you actually squat i don't full bulgari set for one pounds 50 now the oh, 250 damn it that's okay still worth it but it's got everything in there uh gillette all the bulgari moisturizer and stuff everything's in there toothpaste little tissues yeah nice little flight pack that does smell of like mustiness let's have a look at these figures and see what they're worth so i don't know Oh, and this as well. Nice little Viga, um flower pen. So there's a, pen, there's, a, there's a pen in there. That was 
50p. 50p. Let's have a look at these. So I'm pretty sure that the date on these two are, I can't work it out properly, but I'm pretty sure it's 1988, not 1998. Which would make that a first release, I believe. See if the camera can pick it up. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's 1988. So I think these are going to be like one of the first release figures. This one's still got his belt. That's pretty sweet. This one hasn't. That's 2005. This one's 2004, but it makes noise, I think, by the look of it. But we'll look that up. I'll give you some screenshots of that. And we'll see how much these are worth. I'll put some screenshots up because I don't know right now, but I'll know when it comes to editing this together. And we'll have a look at these. I'm more excited about these. So I've had a quick look. We've got Kevin Nash, obviously missing his hair, but I think he, I think he looks good bold, 1999. These are knockoff gladiators, which believe it or not, knockoff stuff does hold quite a bit of value. I mean, his face is a bit melted and he's going the same way, but it's age, isn't it? But believe it or not, they, ha they hold some value. Uh, these are worth more, obviously, if they've got all their bits and pieces. The fact he's got his belt is making it a little bit easier for me, but, um, but these all sell quite well. 15 to 20 quid for BJ, especially with his little booties on. Maybe 12 to 15 for the pen. And again, not too sure about this one. It could be, but depending on the collector, really, how, how much they need it, because the condition's quite good. So this could be good for somebody to swap out for one, which is not in as good condition as their own. But with all of his bits, you're looking at 50, 60 quid on his own. Obviously less than that. And these are just all over the place. I'll put some screenshots up. And that's a gift. And the shorts are for me. So there we have it, David, 1990. Obviously, just a dumbass kid. So 1990, probably a bit older. A nice example of my staged charity shops. You're right, I get it, I understand. I think with that, we'll leave these choppy day stuff here. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. I'm gonna get the sun out of my eyes because as you can see, it's blinding me. And I'll see you on the next one, take care, bye. <laughs> Hello mate, what's your name? And my name's David. David? <laughs> Suck on it, David. Better get that back. Should we do a giveaway? I haven't done a giveaway in ages. Yeah, let me go find a giveaway. Right, people haven't claimed this box yet, so I'm gonna do the whole box and get rid of it. We're gonna do a Lego Chima minifigure. We're also gonna do a Lego Ninjago gluttonous that I got from John Luke. So we've got these two. We're also gonna do Barbie McDonald's toys. We've got the Barbie little girl in there. We've got the Barbie and Lilo there. These are from McDonald's, they're vintage, they're older. And Barbie whatever in a dress there. So three Barbie Happy Meal toys and two Lego toys in the box and waiting to go. All you've got to do is comment down below. That is it, I'm going to do any comment wins. No need to write a special word, just comment down below. If you're a viewer who watches silently, now's your chance to drop a comment and say hello and then get yourself entered into the competition. I've done loads of these now, loads of people have got their stuff. If you, those of you who have got their stuff, I know it's a bit late now, I should have asked before, but tag me on Instagram once you get it and I can share that as well and show people that you are actually getting your stuff. So whoever wins this, don't forget to tag me on Insta. Comment down below. Go, go, go. See you on the next one. I love you. Bye. Beautiful people. Beautiful people. Hope they win. What are you waiting for? Go, 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 go.